All right, in this lecture, let's walk through the anatomy of an execution plan. So now that we have the foundation of the query optimization process, let's define how you and I interact with these queries. We use entities called execution plans, which are trees consisting of various physical operators. There are several approaches to displaying execution plans. However, the vast majority of people simply right-click on the window where we type our transact and choose Display Execution Plan. There are two ways we can view the plan. The actual plan, what really happens when the query is executed, or the estimated plan, which doesn't execute the query but gives us information about the execution plan. Most of the time, these two will be the same. So why would we use an estimated execution plan? Well, what if we had a large query and we wanted to troubleshoot it on a prod box? We wouldn't want to execute it and create blockers for the live environment, so we could use this feature without any impact on the production system. The name given to these icons in our plans are called operators or iterators. I don't like the term iterators, so throughout the course I'll be using the term operator. Now the first icon is called the result operator. It represents the select statement and is called the root element of the plan. The majority of the time, we'll ignore it. Operators implement a function of the execution plan. The query optimizer builds an execution plan choosing from these operators, which may read records from the database. The data flow is represented by arrows between the operators. The thickness of the arrows corresponds to the relative number of rows. Now, you can hover the mouse pointer over an arrow or over an icon or operator to get more information about that operator or to get more information about the number of rows. You can see in our example the operator is an index scan. We can also see the estimated number of rows and the actual number of rows are the same. You can also see the relative cost of each operator in the plan as a percentage of the overall plan. So in our example we can see that 95% of this plan's cost is due to the operator called the index scan. 